What's on YouTube? My name is me and Pemoy. So today I'm going to show another update of phone collection. So for the past month, I have been characterizing the phones so that it look nicer. So these are working phones. I arranged some of the these are these are working smartphones. I have I have no where to place, and these are untested phones. Those we had are broken smartphone, and these are broken phones in general. So let's just start with the working phone, shall we? So. Let's begin with the Nokia 3220 on singular. This work, but the speaker is broken, so can't hear anything. Here's a Nokia 3110C. Sound lock, and it works just fine, no problem. This is a Huawei. That's the model number of this one. T202 is on Vina phone. It works just fine, no problem. Oh, this one had a brass speaker as well. This is a Nokia 166 no, 1800 on Songlock and it's work is fine. There's no problem with it. Okay. Let's move on to the second row. This is a Siemens C45. Works fine. Now no battery for this one, so I haven't got a chance to turn on again. This is the Nokia 2330C, sound lock, it works fine. This is the Nokia 2700C, also on lock, works fine. I got this one brand new. This is the Nokia 1208, this is on mobile phone, sound lock to all carrier, but sound lock to all carrier, so you can put any SIM card in it. Works just fine. The SIM card is kind of infinity on this one, the SIM tray. This is a Nokia 53 5130 on Sunlock and it works just fine as an express music device. This is the Nokia 1200. I'm not sure this what this one's on. It came with a Vietnam mobile card and I think it's unlock and I put out the same card and it works fine. I got a Vietnam that that very cheap too. This is a Nokia 1110i. It's also unlock. It's a Malaysian or Indonesian phone. Works fine. This is a Nokia 5030 um, Express Radio. Uh, these D pads are missing, but otherwise, it works fine. I haven't really done much with that one because the D pads are missing. Samsung SCHB um, is it B309? B309. It's, a, it's on a Chinese CMA network, and I put can put an easy CMA card and work just fine. It's on a, it's a Anico. This is an APT B3 B500 on no, this one's unlock. It works just fine. Here's a Nokia 1280 unlock works fine. It's a basic phone. That is let's see. Um, this is a Samsung Star. It's unlocks my red bus whole phone. It works, but the touchscreen doesn't really function that well anymore. So I might have to do something with that. Samsung National. What what type of Samsung is this? Um. Um. SCH. Let's see what type of SCH it is. X nine sixty nine is with S phone. CDMA network in Vietnam. It works just fine, no problem. Just missing the keypad. Q Mobile Q215 Sound Lock works fine. It's with Chinese media tech phone. There's an OKC 101 on Sound Lock and it works fine. Then this is another 1208 I also got. Um, so this one's on Lock, no branding at all. It works, but the speaker is blown, so can't really hear anything. Um, Q Mobile Q267 is in pretty bad condition actually. Um, but yeah, it's in very bad condition, but it works as actually. Um, surprisingly, it's on lock. Um, another media tech phone is in Mobi Star B220. Works fine. Um, Gangaroo K10i. This one has some sort of storage problem, but otherwise it works. It looks like a battery, maybe. Um, the previous battery may have been exploded or something. It's a loud leak. 
It has a Nokia 6300. This is a Safari model, so it has newer firmware on it. It works with a power button, it's kind of hard to, to press. So, this is the Nokia 2690. This one's unlocked and works fine. These phones are works fine, but they have some, some of them may have several couple of problems that, yeah. This is the Nokia 3100. It's unlocked, works fine. This is the Nokia 1680C Classic, is it? Yes, works fine. Um, yeah, nothing to say about this one, it works fine. Here's a Nokia 3120, which is basically the newer, which is, they are used, running the same firmware, except this one is a bit, had a different release plate. This is with Optus um, of the Australia, and it's locked to that area, but it works fine. This is Nokia E51. Um, no carrier branding, nothing, but it works fine. Nokia N79. Now this one, uh, when I turned it on the last time, I got it turned on. It actually worked just fine. The just the same firmware doesn't really sound too well working to be working, but it works fine. It's unlocked your carriers as well. This is a Nokia 80, uh, 8215, 50, um, is it? Yes. Um, not sure what's I think the battery this may be a problem because oh these these this these two use the same battery and they all shut up randomly but the, the they both work. This is the Nokia twenty one hundred. It's also unlocked. You see it has uh, Arabian keyboard support, but it is in Vietnamese entirely. So I have no no trouble using it. Works fine. Just uh, the battery. I I only had a battery for these one then. Yeah. Yeah, I have a couple of these. These you BLB free battery, and these are pretty much trash. So they don't hold a charge very well. And here's the Nokia thirty three ten. I do not have a battery for it, but I was able to put this battery up against its its contact, and it does turn on. It take the SIM card and everything. Everything works fine actually on this one. So it's in rough condition. So yeah. That's my one of my older Nokia phone too. Um, I have one more older, older right somewhere around here. This is the one of the two Nokia seventy two three sixty I got. This one is working, but had a blown speaker. But well, speaker's broken. This is the Nokia twenty six hundred. This one is on lock, and it is one of the few devices that had Vietnamese keypad on it. Which is nice. Next is a Motorola W come on. 170. This is with HD Mobile. Works fine, but I don't have a HD Mobile card for this one, so it will just stay on the insert RM card. Yeah, those cards are pretty hard to find actually. This is a Nokia 20 no 1202. This one works. Broken back light. That's all I can say about that one. Ooh, pretty basic phone actually. Um, I have a couple keyboard phone right here. Like, this is a HTC Chacha. Um, Chacha. Um, we all have the Facebook phone on it, but I can't really use it because this one's run really old and a really old version of Android. It's surprising. It works fine. Yes, a uh, touchscreen isn't really infinite, really functional as it is. This is the Nokia C3, C3, um, unlock, oh yeah, this one's unlocked as well, works fine. This is the Nokia E71, I think this one may, ha may or may have a display kit, some sort of display problem as well, um, but I'm not sure, it has battery on it, it works fine, no problem with it so far, but I think the, the display um, cable is kind of fa failing a bit, so. Might have to find a place to fix it. This is uh, basically the consumer, more cheaper consumer version of the E71. This is the E63. This one, the speaker is broken, but it does work. I also have 
this is not the x201 that I my dad used it's right here somewhere around here but this is the one I got for free market and I mainly want to get it just because I need the screen to replace it but it turns out this one's fully functional so yeah I'm not going to bother replacing the screen on it it works fine actually so All right, so we are done with the first row of the working phone. Now let's move on to the second row. This one is also a reason find. This is a Samsung SGH. The various um the various phone there. Um SGH E six ninety. This is with no, this is not with any carriers. Yes, yeah, it's unlocked and it works fine. I um I was really happy to have this one for free. Very really cheap online. I paid like one dollars. Another very cool Samsung flip. This is a Convoy 2 um, I was about to buy a Convoy 4 but unfortunately um, it, The seller did so it was already sold out that phone so I only have this one And it was fine. I got this brand new. It's only 160,000 Vietnam Dong And here's another Nokia. Um, this is a Express Music. It's in very poor condition um, 50 is it 5320 D? Yes. Um, so unlock to all carriers works fine. This is some sort of um oh it's a mobile M two twenty or something, B two twenty six or something. Six. Uh it's a spectrum device, nothing special. It works fine, just the speaker's blown. It's an Nokia sixteen uh sixty one. So unlock to all carriers works fine. And it is pressure device that I never really locked in any carrier. So here's a more V star. There's a model up there. Come on. Hey, uh, this camera has 4K, but I because I'm using not using that smartphone today because that thing is running out of space. So I have to pull out my V smart V2 to um, record this video with that thing was fine that thing works fine yes I have a small storage so I didn't use it and what we start is a pretty much um, this is a f535 my camera is not focusing there we go that's better f535 works fine media tech phone nothing special this is the Nokia it's an 72 it works fine, but the screen is starting to show some sort of um, damage. Is um, polarizer is, is, is pretty bad on that one, so not sure what I'm going to do with that. Here's the Nokia twenty seven sixty. Um, is it twenty seven twenty? I'm sorry, I'm not sure what twenty seven sixty was. Um, but I got this one in a free market. It works fine. Nothing, nothing problem wrong with this one. Yes, I don't have the, the correct battery for that one. Here's another 7370. I see this one's in rough condition. Speaker works on this one actually. It works fine. This is the Nokia 6020. Uh, I got this. Um, I got it from the trade and it works fine. Nothing wrong with it. it so. Here's a really cool Nokia. Um, it is a 6131. I had a battery for this one. I, it only take four C, five C doesn't fit, so it works fine. But I don't have the four C battery that is working correctly, so couldn't really turn on right now. This is a Samsung Gusto. Um, I got a bargain for this one. Um, I got it pretty cheap. It works fine. Here's a Samsung pretty really cool one. This is a Samsung a dual slider actually. Um. F four hundred. This is with orange. Um, I'm not sure what version of orange is, but it works fine. It's just, just when you slide it, that this display is broke. This display doesn't really show anything. I think something ha had to be something was wrong with the sliding mechanism. This is um Avio. So the Avio phone. I uh, still have a B line card. I haven't pulled out the A two hundred three. 
it works fine. Um, there's nothing special about the other than it being a Abio phone. All right, moving on, we have Samsung SGH. Um, this is um X four sixty. This one actually does work. The screen just has some minor polarizer problem, but it works fine. Another Samsung flip phone. This one is a. It's basically the CDMA equivalent of the SGX X two ten. This is SCH S one sixty nine. It's on a carrier in Taiwan. Um, it's a technical, but I'm not sure what carrier it's on. It's in Chinese. I can't read it. I did read Japanese, so. This is a Sony Ericsson T three hundred three. Um, it's a European device. Um, it's not locked to all carriers. Works fine, but it actually has a couple of um ram when you use that. It's just randomly flashing white. I'm not sure why. Probably some water damage residue. I guess uh, yeah. That was what what I think about. This one is also a reason why this is a Nokia twenty five hundred five. This is with a Taiwan carrier. Let's see what type of yeah, this is on. I have a phone list up there. Show you the model number of each phone. Um, I have a list of, I've been doing the list for a very long time. And let's see, 2505. It's on Asia Pacific Telecom. So yeah, that's the carrier is on. It works fine. The LG LG one hundred and fifty. This is basically the uh, unlock variant of the LX one hundred and fifty. Um, I'm not sure what this one's on. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be on some sort of. I think it's Bell and Latin Mobile Canada or some sort of ODM carrier that operate on the Sprint network. This is a very cool ACDMA phone. This is the VK. Um, 110c this one's pretty rare because there's no video on this one online there's no video on that one online either sun s phone works fine just a battery life is terrible on that one this is a samsung sgh t219 this one's actually unlocked to all carrier believe it or not works fine there's nothing wrong with it this is a very um samoro uh, w W355, this is uh, on S phone. It works fine. This is a Samsung SGH, oh, Samsung GTC um, S3100. This is unlocked to all carrier. It works fine. This is a Sony Ericsson W200i on T Mobile UK, but it is unlocked, so you can put any SIM card in and it works fine. That thing is pretty cool too. It has all the songs from the earlier Vietnamese um, 2010. Um, Real really is no nostalgia for me. This is uh, one of the two 2626 I got. It works fine, just in the rough condition. This is a 2865, have an EVN card stuck on it. I've been testing a couple of cards in. It is on China Telecom, it works fine. Or oh, China Unicom, actually. Here's an APT B8600, this one's on now and works fine. This is an Nokia 6070, um, I'm not sure. Um, it works fine, just in slightly rough condition. And I might have to do some cleaning on this one. Um, let me let it. How to clean it later. Nokia 6060, um, 6060, um, I got this one fairly cheap, um, works fine. Nokia 1508, this one is on a, it's a CDMA device and I'm not sure what this is on, but it works fine as well. It's a Taiwanese CDMA S3. This was my first phone, this is a Nokia 105. No, 106. You will see 105 later on. But this one works fine. Because this is my first one. I took a lot of care about that. 
Here's my first CMA phone. This is an LG HD One Fifty Six on HD Mobile. This one's one of your HD Mobile device that doesn't require you to insert the card in order to use it. This is a Mobile Rockstar, no um, Rock Mini. Scratching device, nothing scratching, but it works. And it's Rocket actually. Um, it's my first Rocket device. Um, Viettel V6217, um, it's a MediaTek device, nothing special, it works fine. Yeah, I'm not sure why I collect these Vietnamese devices. They are meant, they are basically Chinese phones, but with uh, Vietnamese branding on it, so there's nothing really um, fascinating about those phones, but I don't care anyway. This is a Samsung, not a Samsung app. <coughs> SGH X200. Mom, my mom had the X, this one or this X160, which you will see later on. Works, it's just in rough condition. I think I found one in better condition, but it was a bit pricey on my touch. This is a very new cool one. It's a BenQ Seaman 66. Is it? Is this E83 or something? And a bit list on the phone right here because this this back cover is a pain to open. Yeah, E eighty one, and it works. I surprisingly work. Uh, I don't have the battery came with it. It's broken, but the phone works. So the phone works. So this is the Nokia E sixty five, flea market. I got this one very cheap and it works fine. <coughs> I'm losing the noise. Mm -hmm. So um, I actually do have a couple. The last line right here, so I'll go right through it. This is an OK X one hundred one. Is unlocked, works fine. Oh yeah, that Viettel phone is obviously. I'm not sure what who made it, but it's branded to Viettel. This is a LG K S three sixty, also sold a neon. It's unlocked, it works fine. This is an OK fifty eight hundred um Express Music. Also works fine. This one, this one actually had something special in it. Um, because um, when I got it, the battery was extremely bold and the back cover is cracked beyond repair. So I drew those out. This is a very small phone. It's a LA Star BM10. It's based on one of my most popular video on YouTube. <clears throat> works fine. There's nothing really special about those uh, MediaTek phone. This is a very common CMA Motorola W200, very common CMA device in Vietnam. So those are diamond, literally a diamond dozen in, in the CDMA market. The 1280 is also uh, so another one of those um, diamond dozen phone. Here's a Motorola W210 on the S phone. CDMA, this is also S phone. This one um, works. I actually just saw another one of these S1 that has an older S1 branding, so I'm probably gonna be looking for that one. Mm. This is a Samsung SGH X510. It works fine, nothing special about this one. This is an LG SD2130. This is uh, my oldest LG phone that works, so. Yeah, pretty cool because it's a CDMA device and very early CDMA device that not a lot of people remember about. This is a Samsung GT um, <coughs> E1050. It's unlocked to OK areas, works fine. It's a basic Samsung phone. Here's, here's another basic Samsung phone. This is with Viettel. It's a E1110T. The speaker on this one is infinity, it doesn't really work and sometimes you will think that it's charging but it's not. I think it's a, I think it has some water damage residue on that one. Yeah, this this thing I had a card inside it. This is a Movistar Light on B1300, it had a cell shell on the LG's on. It's not on Movistar, the board has been flashed, but it works. I don't. Know, I just don't have the battery for that one. This is the Motorola W three seventy five. I was thought this was going to be a track phone one, but it turned out it is an international model. So you can put in the SIM card and it works just fine. Had even Vietnamese too, um, which is nice. Um, 
This is the Sony Ericsson J230. This is a European device. Works fine. Nothing special about that. Here's the Moro W360. Um, also works fine. It's unlocked. This one's also unlocked, and this is also unlocked. This is uh, Samsung SGH, uh, no, GT um, C3212. Pretty basic Samsung phone, but it works. It got the job done. Actually, they have a, a lot of fun, actually. I have like 190 or something. This is the Nokia 6230. This one had a burn polarizer, but the board itself was fine. It came with a memory card too, which is nice. It works the x ray. This is a Sony Ericsson T630. I don't have a battery for this one, but this one does work, so. Here's an LG KP100. This is unlocked and it works as fine. These two are all unlocked as well. Next, we have an LG B2100. This is with um, Borges, France. I got a card for it actually. This is actually from one of my parents' trip to Europe. It, will, <coughs> it works. This is um, this Sony Ericsson W580i. Works, but the battery, this one's Borges on this one. So, and the charger, and I, and I think I broke the Sony Ericsson charger I got. So not a bad sign, not a good sign. This is one of the two free Nokia 6030 that I got. This one is the one I got earlier. So I've been testing it. It works fine. Nothing wrong with it. This one is in very poor condition. It's a Sony W800i, very poor condition, but it works just fine. There's no problem with that one. All of that the camera is being broken, so of course. I might consider buying a kind of different house housing for that. This one's really cool. This is a Nokia 60, um, 680. But what's special about this one is that this one is a Frodo device. And it actually works perfectly fine, actually. I got fair cheap. This is an LG SV360 gaming device. I am not sure how to reset this one, but it had a bunch of, um, like, See, like picture of um, picture that's inappropriate for me, so I'm not sure how to reset the device. But yeah, but I don't know Korean for sure. This is the Nokia sixty one oh eight. Um, yeah, I'm not sure these are they they're supposed to be a stylus that you can interact with this one, but unfortunately, no back, no battery, no stylus, so. It works naturally, but this is a speaker is pretty busted, pretty much busted. So we're done with the last few phones of the working file. This is a Samsung SDHX one sixty basic phone. So my mom used to actually use, used to have one of these as well, I think. But it works fine. This is a Nokia two <coughs> two o six two o six. Um. It works fine, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I have some come line a couple of lines on the screen, but that's the very minor. Viettel V6216. This one was in the face of the most annoying low battery shutdown video. Works fine. Really old elderly phone actually. Actually, that was a uh, manufacturer by X Phone. APTM993 G. Um, this is a clone of the BlackBerry Curve. It works fine. I haven't really tested it nowadays, but you can, you can be assured that it works. I'm not going to turn on any of these on because those are, will take a lot of time to do. So Okay, so this is a Daewoo U200. This is a Ubiquam phone um, on EVN. No, this is before DP, before EVN. This is basically the prequel to the EVN Telecom works fine. Figure out the speaker work on that one. This is a Sony Ericsson J10 110i. As you can see, it's a full, so the full port is fully functional. 
So, we're in work thing. Yes, another 6030 I got. This one is the one that I got in the free market. I think I mainly bought it because I need the screen to place on another 6030, which I will show. But it turns out that the fold is fully functional, it's not better. So, and here we have a Nokia 6315 on ATT. No battery, no back, but it works. Here's an O2 Ice. I think it's made by Pentec actually. Works fine. It's unlocked to all carriers on O2, but it's unlocked to all carrier. This is a Samsung C. This one's really common in Vietnamese, but let's see what model. It's a GTS 3600i. I don't have a battery for this one, but I plug it in and it works, so. Yeah. And this is an Avio A101. Is it? Yes, it's basic phone works fine. There's nothing special. This is just a media tech phone. Surprisingly, use a proprietary charger, which is stupid because why a media tech device had a proprietary charger? Why? Yes, why? Um, but yeah, those are the working phone. Now let's move on to broken phones. But first, let's show some working smartphone first. LG Optimus Me is a uh, Android two point something. It works to uh, polarize the burn on this one. It's Galaxy, um, Samsung Galaxy. Is this Trend Plus? No. Yeah, I probably think it's a Trend Plus or something like that, but it also works fine. And this is a iPhone 5S. It's my old phone. Works fine. 16 gigabyte. This is a Mobistar Lite um, Juna. You can see. Android 5 Lollipop works fine, nothing special about that. This is a battery, this one's kind of infinity on this one. Samsung Galaxy, um, this one's J2. This is basically the um, grand prime with a newer hardware on this one. Works fine, there's nothing wrong with it. I got this one very recently, it's my grandma's old phone. Nokia Lumia 950. This one's had ATT branding, but it's actually unlocked, so I can't really reset it. It's in France. <clears throat> it works my brother's old phone. Here's another one of his. It's a Nokia TA1033. It also works fine. So run Android. Is this Nougat? It, what's I'm assuming it's running? But yeah, those are my working smartphone. Now, before I move on to the broken phones, I do have a couple of untested devices ZTC220. Yes. I don't have a battery or charger for this one. It's on S phone. Freak. One of you uh CMA phone or S phone. One of the early ones that use RM card. This is a UT Starcom of some sort it's on CD phone or well, very early CMA network. I don't have the battery for this one. This use one of the weirdest connectors on this one. It's pretty one damage actually. Corrosion. And it, you and when I plug it in. I had a charger for this one, it does not do show anything. This Sony Ericsson is, uh, is this Sony Ericsson? What type of Sony Ericsson is this? W595, this one is a Chinese device that I um, have no way to test it. Charge it. Sony Ericsson charger is broken and I don't have the battery for that one. Completely unknown to me. This is the uh, oldest one in my crush, is a uh, StarTech. StarTech. I don't have the charger for this one, and this one's my may have been water damage because I see some water, um, some residue of water damage. Whoops! Accidentally, accidentally um, turn off the camera. But here's a Motorola. What the Motorola this is? Not sure, but. I don't have a charger or battery for this one, it's in very rough condition. LG S2030, I don't have a charger for this one and the battery is completely dead. It's on S phone, it's really cool. Um, here's an LG VX3300 on Verizon. This one turned on but when I plug in the battery it says it's a correct battery so maybe something with a DRM on the LG device on CMA. Here's a Siemen A75. I don't have a battery for this one and charger of this one, but it just shows some life. 
This is a Misui Huawei Misui T210. This one turns on, but I don't know what carries this one so lock in because when I plug it, in, when I plug any other card, it will say something like um, SIM card rejected or something. This is a Ubiquam U300 on EVN Telecom. I don't know how to charge it with this one, and the battery that came with it was bloated. I do have it somewhere. Here it is. That's a shame because this battery had the anime um, sticking on it. Here's the Samsung SGHD 410 on. Uh, it's not on any carriers. I don't have a charge over this one. This is a Sanyo D S750. Um, on orange, I don't have a charge of this one either. That's how I might be able to find a charge of this one, but not that one. Not that one. And I'm not sure we'll find a charger for this EBN. Those are, those I will show last. Those are broken smartphones. But first, let's show the broken phones first. Starting with, this is a Samsung C260. This one turns on, but the keyboard is not working. This is a, another Sony SNJ110i. This one is broke. This one doesn't turn on. The LCD is broken and everything is broken. This is just a display piece. This is a Nokia 616610i. This one's brick beyond repair. That thing show contact service. And this was a Nokia 6210i. This one does not turn on. And it's on unlocked to all carriers as well. Motorola W2670. This one had a broken screen. Nokia 7260, uh, 7270, this one does not turn on. Nokia 6170, this one also does not turn on. The enemy these do have some problem with the board itself, so. This Samsung GTC to E1080 T is, is, this, this one does also does not turn on, it's one damage and not really worth fixing. This mobile M220 doesn't turn on, doesn't do anything. Doesn't turn on. This Nokia 6030, this is another one. This one had a broken backlight. This is another 3500, Nokia 3500C. This one had a broken LCD. This is a Nokia um, 6233. This one had a white LCD. Let's see if I miss, miss any of this one. Yeah, I kind of made I I made some of these line right here. That is an Nokia C201. That thing works fine. This is an Nokia 6 uh, 26 um 26. Another one of these. It works fine. And this is another 3500C. It works fine as well. I'm sorry. I missed uh, those phone. This one had a white screen. So I'm assuming the display cable is bad. Samsung SGS S X S three hundred. This one had a broken screen, both screen. Motorola Razer V three M on Verizon. This one, the board is kind of infinity, so and it's water damage, so it works fine actually, but. Works, but the board is kind of bad. Here's a Mora Razer V3i. This one turns on and then turns on, but the SIM tray is broken. This is the Nokia Asha 307i. When I first got it, the touchscreen worked, but now this just doesn't work. I'm not sure what's wrong, going on with that. So, I'm going to have to leave it that. This is the Panasonic X70. This one had a broken flex cable. Nokia 7260. This one works, but the keyboard doesn't work. Here's a Nokia 73. Here's a Nokia 7360. This one had a white LCD. 
This one is an OKR 5300 Express Music. Not sure what's wrong with this one, but when you get past the, the time on the time on the time setting, it will just randomly reboot itself and I'm not sure what's wrong on this one. Not sure what's wrong with that one, but is really broke much uh, broken. Beyond repair, that's a board problem. This is an Nokia 3500 3600 or something, is it? 3600 This one it had a broken flex cable the screen just so black and non these key function the Nokia 661050 um, this one has a broken screen and the keyboard is also infinity This Nokia 6111 here is brick this LG um, is this shrine or something? KE 970 is also brick. It's also brick as well. I'm gonna do something with all these broken phone. This Nokia 72 is not, not 72. Is this 72 hundred or something? 7230. Uh, it's also brick. So this one's brick. Doesn't do anything. Not sure what I want to do with this one S3. The Nokia 6230i. I have two of these, another one somewhere. This one had a broken screen. Nokia 6100i, this one, the battery contact is really loose, so it doesn't really always turn on. This is an Nokia 2600 um, C classic, had a broken LCD. This is the Nokia 6102i, the hinge is broken, but the screen works, just the back eye is broken. So that's, that's a shame thing. Here's the Nokia 6500, 60, uh, 60, 60, 65. This one had a broken flex cable. Here's a Viettel V6202. Um, this one had a broken flex cable as well. This is a Sony SNK 610i um, on China Unicom or something like that. Telecom or something like that. So, it's based on Hong Kong. Um, this one had a passcode I cannot bypass. This is an LG. Um, what's that? LG is this? Uh, KG 1595 This one had a, had a bad charging circuit and the screen is kind of flashing This is a Samsung SGX 688 on Anyco Taiwan. This one boot loops This is a Nokia 2630i. This one is brick This is a Nokia 70, um, 70, 70 Prism. This one had a broken inner LCD. This is a, a Nokia 2650C slide. This one has a broken flex cable and a broken screen, broken LCD. So everything is broken at that one, but it, it does show signs of life, so. Uh, Motorola um, backflip. This one's brick. Samsung Genoa. This one half the touchscreen doesn't work, so can't really do much with that. I also have BlackBerry um, 7100B. This one I also had some software problem. This LG C100 is had a broken keyboard. This HTC Cha Cha, um, no, HTC um, Innovation, no, Hero 100 is brick. The flex cable is broken. This one is a Motorola, uh, no, no, Blackberry 7290. This one is had bad software. This one had bad software. And I just figured out that this thing I shouldn't even keep in my house because it's just one of the very really dangerous um, cordless phone 
But this is close to Samsung something. This is a piece of trap and no one wanted. it. Um, this is a Kui Mobile Kui Smart some sort. This one has a... This one boot loops. That's what I can remember that. This Nokia phone right here is also in a boot loop. Lumia 590, 530. Samsung Galaxy Grand Prix. This one doesn't have a screen. I this iPhone um, 4s. This one is also boot loops. Samsung Galaxy Note 3 Nail. This one had a broken screen. And this I new phone. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one because this is one just a junk piece of junk. Um, no one wanted it, and it's brick. So yeah, pretty much that's pretty much all my collection. I have a bunch of smokers in my phone. I'm not going to show what I want to do with those, but yeah, it is what it is, and I can't really change everything, anything about those. But without that, um, I mean. My phone crash is still really strong. I have like a hundred nineties, and most of these are working. And so I have a couple of broken ones that I need to repair or something. Like some of these may be repairable, like this one. I might have to hold a clean the board on this one. But yeah, that's it for my correction video. I hope you guys enjoy and check. It. See you on next one.